What's up guys, welcome back to episode 12 of the free to play lock level 3 skiller series. Starting out this video with 539 total level with 531 free total level and 3 level 75 stats. First skill we're going to be training today is going to be fire making, but before we get into that, we are actually going to be doing some quests. As you guys know, we've had these two quests, Missile and Mystery and the Shield of Arav, as the only two quests that I did not complete yet, and in this video, we're going to be doing both of them. At level 60 fire making, we can finally burn U-Logs, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We have 10,000 U-Logs in the bank, and all 2.1 mil of that is going to be literally up in flames. And then I think I'm going to try out the new type of fire making. It's not really new anymore, but you can see one over here, the Forester's Campfire. It's basically bonfires from RuneScape 3. I'm genuinely shocked that passed the poll if it even did. I don't even know anymore at this point. But yeah, we're going to be trying out both fire making forms once we burn through these 10,000 of course and now that i'm thinking about it 10,000 is a lot of logs and we probably won't use all of those in this video but i guess we'll see also i figured i'd ask this at the beginning of the video so that the most people watching can respond to this in the comments below do you guys prefer me using the 117 graphics like i'm using right now or do you prefer the gpu plugin i'm using now the GPU plugin is pretty much just an upgraded version of the default graphics, but the 117 version has a lot more to offer. As you guys can see, it has glow and all sorts of stuff. By the way, top right corner of this video, you can click on this to see my graphics settings for both GPU and 117 if you're interested in that. So yeah, let me know which you prefer. Getting attacked by a dark wizard. Let's get away from him. And uh, yeah, so again, 117 or do you prefer GPU? Personally, I prefer 117 in some situations and GPU in others, but uh, yeah, let me know what your preference is down below. As you guys might have picked up on in my previous videos, I prefer to fire make here in Drainer Village. That way, I'm able to see when forestry events happen and I could join in on them while I'm fire making. So it's really passive woodcutting XP, and because of that reason, I prefer to fire make and train bank standing skills at Drainer Bank as opposed to the Grand Exchange. Jeez, I didn't even realize that each one of these U-Logs is 202.5 XP each. That's insane. Might as well add the stats to the canvas up here so we could actually see what we're doing. And I will get back to you guys in about 10 minutes once the XP has evened out. And we can see actually how much XP an hour we're getting here. Fire making U-Logs the old school traditional way. All right, so the numbers are in. Burning U logs is about 245 to 250,000 XP an hour, which is an insane amount of XP an hour, especially in free to play. Hey, uh, rumor has it that you want to hit that subscribe button. Level 70 fire making coming in here. No unlocks at level 70, but the stack grouping now looks pretty good. It'll look better at 75, but uh, yeah, we're using a lot more U logs than I was expecting. I think by the time that I get 75 fire making, I'm going to have roughly 5,000 logs left. So starting with 10,000 U logs was a bit much, but it is what it is. Happy to have them. I switched over to the 500 total worlds because people kept messing up my fire making lines by turning some into choristers, campfires, and other people just randomly lighting fires in my way on purpose. Because the main reason I wanted to fire make in world 1 was because I wanted to be able to do the forestry events, but it seems like they've been updated to where now you don't really get any XP unless you were already chopping trees when the event spawned. I'm not 100% sure on that fact though, but the last two that I tried to participate in ended up giving me like basically 2 XP per thing and no bark. So I think passive woodcutting might be out of the window. But anyway, 
We finally got level 75 fire making. If we remember, we can now fire make with magic logs, which would be very, very, very nice. But U is the best we could do in free to play. Our U log stack has dwindled down all the way to basically 5.4k. So we still do have a lot of XP still banked here in fire making with these U logs. We have enough to probably get us to level 78 or 79. But we'll figure that out in a different video. But for now, let's go do some quests. I think we're going to do Mistal and Mystery. I've actually never done this quest, I don't think. It's one of the newer ones. Um, I think I did this when this quest released back in 2017. But that was the only time I've ever done it. And I don't even remember what it is. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, there's a crash star here. That's pretty cool. I would be the first one to get it if... And of course, I'm getting attacked. Um, Level 90? I found a tier 9 star. If it was level 60, I would actually go and mine it. But uh, yeah, level 90 is a bit steep. If I had 90 mining, this would be an awesome find. But anyway, let's get this quest started by talking to Abigail. What has happened here? We were invited to a house party on an island not far from here. Something felt wrong about the whole thing, but we went anyway. The house seemed pretty creepy, but everything was going fine. We were all having a good time. And that's when we got attacked. I, I tried to save her. Huey bought me enough time to find an old boat. I went back to get him, but it was too late. I'm scared that he won't make it. You have to do something. They can't get away with this. What do you want me to do? That psycho is still out there. You have to bring them to justice. The boat we escaped on is just over there. You can use it to get to the island. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay, yeah, I think I kind of remember what this is now. It's basically an old school RuneScape Scream movie, which is actually pretty cool. Let's pick up this bucket here. Search the barrel of rainwater. Woo, party on bro. Whoa, that wind totally just felt like someone breathing on my neck. Whoa, not cool, bro. Ugh, I'm feeling woozy, Garg. I see the light. Erg. It's not my time. Glurg. Gargle. Ugh. Glark. Help. Me. Ugh. Hurgle. Glark. Sid collapses to the ground in a crumpled mess. As he falls down, you spot something shiny fall out of his shirt pocket and into the barrel of water. Gosh, that was horrible and so drawn out. Ugh. Oh wow. He's still going. I think he is actually dead this time. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Gah. I've got to find a way into that house and stop this maniac. I wonder what it was that I saw fall into that barrel? If you didn't already know, and I don't know why you would, oops, I did drop the bucket. Scream is actually my favorite horror franchise that's ever existed. You find a key at the bottom of the barrel. I think the whole concept of Ghostface is really, really cool, especially because it's a different sort of mystery every time. And I think it's probably the most realistic horror movie killer because it's always someone different and they're trying to emulate each other. Gargle. No. What's this? A note? I guess I should read it. You take a copy of the note. Isn't murder just a work of art? Beautiful, yet haunting, like the blade of a knife. As we wander through the valley of death, I thought there might be a hidden message all the way at the bottom because you have the super long scroll wheel, but there's nothing here. <laughs> you slash open the painting, revealing a hidden storage compartment. You find a key hidden inside the slashed painting. You light the candle. The room is sufficiently warmed. The fuse should now have dried out. The fuse is lit. I should get out of here before it blows. Please stop this, just let me go. We're going to play a game. Do you like to play games? 
No, yes. Whatever you say, just don't hurt me. Whether you get hurt or not is entirely up to you. Your fate is in your own hands. What? What do you mean? Leave her alone, you monster. Ah, skill A. How kind of you to join us. Now if you say another word, I will end her right now. Sorry, where were we? Ah, yes, of course. The game. Do you like quests, Lacey? Um, sure. I like quests. Do you like scary quests? Uh-huh. What's your favorite scary quest? I don't know. You have to have a favorite. Um, the one with that vampire in it who lives in a big house. Good, good. And now for that game I spoke about. I am going to ask you one question. Get it wrong and you die, but get it right and you live. Oh, Guthix. Please, no. Please don't. I don't want to die. Then think hard about your answer. You like vampires, so this should be easy for you. The question is this. Who is the vampire that resides in South Mistelan? Um... I mean, he told me to say nothing, so, uh... Oh, yes. Yes, I know it. Count Draenor. Ha! In your face, you masked freak! Oh, Lacey, 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 I did tell you to think hard about your answer. Count Draenor is in fact a vampire, and he does reside in his manor in Mistelin, but that manor is in West Mistelin. I was talking about Count Czech, thanks for playing. No. No, you tricked me. This isn't fair. Ask me another. Goggle. Ugh. That monster. I have to stop them. Let's see what that new note says. You take a copy of the note. It's like music to my ears. The glorious sounds, spelling out your fate. Is there anything at the bottom of this one? No. I don't know why they have the big scroll wheel. You find a key hidden inside the piano's compartment. Why am I the one who is always left clearing up after everyone? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Lacey? Sid? Hmm. Well, I guess I should go check it out. No point staying in this nice locked room when I could go outside into the creepy darkness. Seriously? The walls and doors seem too thick for Mandy to be able to hear you. Oh. And I don't think there is any need to take this big, shiny weapon with me in order to defend myself. Nothing bad ever happens when people go check out noises in the dark outside of houses. You have got to be kidding. Okay, well, here I go. Hello, anyone out here? See? I knew nothing would happen. Must have just been a squirrel or something running about. Oh well, back to the dishes. Phew, that was lucky. No! Why, me? That psycho. He was just toying with her. Another note. This guy really likes playing games, but this is going to be a game he won't win. And another note was left. You take a copy of the note. Here at first these words, each murder you witness helplessly from start to end, as you fail to solve the final letters of this quiz. Razor sharp like a gemstone is the blade of my knife. The last sound you hear will be your screams echo. 
guaranteed that I will have the final word in this thriller. Anything at the bottom of this one? No. I don't know why I think there would be. You use your knife to pry open a loose brick in the fireplace, revealing a secret panel. You find a panel of switches inside the hidden compartment. Each switch is crafted from a different gemstone. Oh, I love the Quest Helper plugin. It is so nice. You find a key hidden inside the fireplace. Show yourself, you coward. So we meet at last. I have to say, I'm impressed you worked out my riddles. Well, maybe you aren't as smart as you think you are. Oh, really? All the dead bodies suggest otherwise. And what did you do to stop them? Nothing. People think you are some big hero, but you're not. All you adventurers are the same. Nothing but opportunists. What are you going on about? Well, I did have this big speech planned out, but quite frankly, I don't think you are worth the effort it would take to deliver it. So... This is the end of the line for you. It is time for the final act, the showdown, the finale. Let's see if you are up to the challenge. Okay, so now I have to move the mirror to reflect the knives. Okay, that seems easy. URGH dot 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 I think I may have underestimated you. You've lost at your own game. And now it is time to see who you really are under that mask. No. You? But why? Why on earth would you kill all your friends? Why beg me to come here to help them? You just don't get it do you? So big-headed, so used to it all being about you, about you saving the day. Well, I'm sick of it. What do you mean? Adventurers. You're all the same. Everything always has to be about you. I don't understand. Of course you wouldn't, because you can't see past yourself. Believe it or not, I used to be like you. I'd hear about some damsel in distress and go to help. To have my moment. For me to be the hero, just for once. But you! You and every other darned adventurer. Every time I get there to help, it's too late. Crisis solved. Disaster averted. Reward claimed. Every time you and those other adventurers steal my moment. But not this time. This time, it is all about me. I'm the star of the show. Me, 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 me. Well, not any longer. The show is over and there will be no curtain call. Oh, but there is always a curtain call. What? How? There was another killer? I really was wondering if they were going to incorporate a second killer. Of course, every good show needs a good supporting actor. Now, take off your mask, darling. Take a bow. You have earned it. Of course, my love. You? But how? You were almost dead when I saw you. I saw your wounds. No, what you watched was what we wanted you to watch. A masterful performance if I do say myself. But what is in this for you? Everyone loves the limelight, and who better to share it with than my beloved Abigail. But your friends? They didn't deserve to die. Perhaps not, but neither did I deserve to be cast back into the shadows when I deserved the spotlight. Yes, while we deserve the spotlight. And now I have my starring role. Our starring role. Gilinor will forever remember this night and what I have done here. No, what we have done. Quiet Huey, this is my moment. No, this is supposed to be our moment. It isn't just all about you either. We were in this together. Stop ruining this Huey. I have worked so hard for this and I'm not going to let you take it away from me. Well, I'm not going to be pushed aside either. We were both in this as equals. We were never equals. 
How could you possibly compare to me? You egotistical, selfish. You foul and loathsome them evil little cockroach! No. My love. R.I.P. to Huey. No. No. What have I done? It wasn't supposed to be like this, but you just couldn't let me have my moment. Why Huey, why? I loved you. This could be my chance to take advantage of the situation. It's time to take matters into my own hands. I'm not going at her empty handed. Probably wield the knife first. Oh, fashion escape plug in, hold on. There we go. Well, thanks, Sarah Domin, that's over. I should get out of here. You'll never escape me. You dare try and ruin my moment. Huey is dead because of you. Now it is time for you to join him. No. This can't be it. Wow, that was close. Mandy, how are you alive? I watched you get stabbed through the heart. I did get stabbed, but I was born with a rare condition called dextrocardia. Dextro what? What did he say? Dextrocardia. It means that my heart is on the right side of my chest, not the left like most people. So when the killer thought they stabbed you in the heart, they actually missed? Well, missed the heart, yes. I did still get stabbed though, and I'm actually feeling pretty woozy. Oh, yes, right. You should go sort yourself out. I will wait outside the house after seeing to this stab wound. You should come talk to me there. Oh, hi, Skilla. Hi, Mandy. How are you feeling now? Much better, thanks, and lucky to be alive. Thanks to you in no small part. Well, we saved the day as a team, so thank you too. Here, I found these in the wardrobe when I was seeing to my wound. I don't want them, so please take them. And the mystery has been completed, giving us one quest point, 600 crafting XP, an uncut ruby, emerald, and sapphire, bringing our total quest points up to 33. Let's get back to the rowboat and head out of here. Super cool quest. I'm really glad that they put it in the game. Not sure why they put it in the game. Would have made a really cool Halloween event, unless it was a Halloween event that they just added. I don't really remember. But anyway, I think the next skill we're going to be training is mining. I really don't feel like grinding it to level 75 though, but uh, yeah, I guess we just got to grind ahead of us. So I just got level 75 mining and I realized I never hit record. So yeah, we got 75 mining. Wasn't really sure how to show mining progress because it's just me standing here power mining. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We did get a clue scroll earlier, but then someone lured over a scorpion and it killed me. So I put it in the bank and uh, yeah, I wasn't going to leave here every time and have to lose aggro every single time. It's way more annoying than at Drainer Village with the Dark Wizards. But anyway, I know that we didn't do too much progress in this video. We only got two level 75 stats, which is still pretty good. But even though most of my videos are very heavily progress based, I don't think every single video I make needs to be a progress video. So let me know if you guys actually enjoyed that quest that I made. It took me like four and a half hours to record everything and line everything up in editing so that the voice matches the chat boxes and all that. I did enjoy making it. I thought it was something different. It was longer than I expected it to be. But ultimately, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see me do another quest in that sort of style in the future. Because we only have one quest left and it's the Shield of Arav. So that one could be pretty fun to do as well. 
But anyway, we're ending this video with a total free level of 561, which means that we need 89 more levels to get to the diamond rank in the District 3 clan shot. Don't really know how we're going to get there, but I guess we will eventually. But anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like below, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.